and there is a very strong and intimate bond between us when he hits or slaps me. <laughs> we want to be treated with respect. Respect me, brother. You should respect me. Why? You're, you are so disrespectful. You should say bless. How dare you, brother? Let's just read that again. And there is a very strong and intimate bond between us when he hits or slaps me. Our Quran teacher sister is telling you that she feels the most intimately connected and the strongest bond when she is getting slapped. Pop. I'd love to answer the previous one. Here we go. Who finds it hard to believe that some of us practicing women actually think this way. I can speak for myself. Someone said, who said, blue stop? Blue stop, Mahdi. <laughs> right. I've grown up in a very traditional North African household. All right, here we go. Where the woman's place was clear and the men's place as well. I'm practicing since I was a teen. So she's a practicing sister. All right. She's not a sister from the streets. She's not a sister who's been ran through. She's a practicing sister. Let's carry on. I've never been in a club. I've never experienced all the stuff that, that many maybe did in their jahiliya as I practiced from a very young age. Mashallah. I was always a pleasant child, always attracted to submission as I was and still am submissive in my nature. In my first marriage, even though I had the strong desire of being 100% submissive to my husband and also wanted my husband to take control, he turned out to be a very shy person, always asking for consent. Oh my days! I got kicked off of TikTok for telling people never ask for consent. And this woman here is saying that she is annoyed with her husband for asking for consent. I was speaking the truth, bro. Allah al -mustan. I'm not saying to, to grab. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, yani, be assertive. Be confident. Flip sake, bro. He turned out to be a very shy person, always asking for consent. No amount of masculinity in daily life or in bed. Interesting. Very interesting. <sighs> we got divorced after six years and I married again. Only that this time I was a bit more experienced and specifically searched for a brother who is clearly dominant and an alpha male. Alhamdulillah, this was the best decision. I see nothing wrong in being degraded in bed, being slapped, being insulted, etc. All right, this is where I have to like, I have to just uh, put a disclaimer out there, okay? I don't know what the uh, the shara'i view is on a woman being degraded, like like verbally insulted. I don't know what the shara'i uh, ruling is on this. So please, Yanni, just... You need to take that to a sheikh. And like some of this stuff is extreme. Like she wants to be called like the lowest of the low. Like she's just like, like she's a, like she's filth. You know the filth that we talk about? She wants to be compared to that. She gets off on that. I don't know if this is, I don't know if this is halal or not. Halal. I don't know, bruv. I don't know that side of things. Okay. I'm just putting that out there. I'm just reporting what I'm, what I'm seeing in front of me. So again, I see nothing wrong with being degraded in bed, being slapped, being insulted, etc. He is experienced with women due to previous marriages. Now you can understand, guys, why women uh, often look for an experienced man, by the way. A man who has prior experience. Or a man who is indeed married. By the way, being married is to women. Uh, being married is to women what having lots of money is to wealth accumulation. The more money you have, the more money you can make. You've probably heard of that before. Money makes money, which is true, right? Uh, women also attracts women the more women you have the more women who want you it's social proof okay it's clearly it's like oh he's got a wife well he must be doing something right he's got two wives well he's definitely doing something right he's got three wives i need to quickly fill that spot before the last one before be, before it goes the more women you have the easier it is to get more of them let's carry on he's experienced with women due to previous marriages and we match perfectly He's an alpha during the day and during the night. He unleashes the animal in me. When he grabs me, when he grapes me, role play. Wow. Wow. This is this really be saying this to you. When he grabs me and when he grapes me, role play. That's the moment I can let go. I forget. 
I'm the practicing sister. Quran teacher. And mom. I can hear the Muslims screaming. You man are literally screaming. Astaghfirullah. She teaches Quran. And she wants to be grabbed at night. I can't read anymore. This is too much. Please. What is going on? I don't know. Get some face money. Get your cheek money. I'm going to slap you again today. I'm going to slap you with a dose of reality. It's just me and him. No, 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 no. Let me read that again for you. I forget that I'm the practicing sister, Quran teacher, and mom. It's just me and him. And the desire of being his object. I want to scream that one, yeah? Of being his object. Bruv. What did you hear me say on our brother Dilly's podcast? What did you hear me say, bruv? <laughs> Women want to be objectified. 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 <laughs> again. Again. <laughs> again. Give me all the slaps. I need something more, more satisfying than that. Huh? No, we don't want to be objectified. Uh, brother, what are you talking about? Shut up. This stream is fun today. If you're liking the stream, do me a favor and like it. Thank you very much. Maybe even share it on one of your social media platforms. Sorry to interrupt this broadcast. Your show will now continue. Where were we? Right, okay, yeah. So, the desire I see in his eyes, the lust, the hunger. Wait, 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 wait. Have I got any? No. I can let go. I forget on the practice and sister called Aunt Teacher Mum. It's just me and him and the desire of being his object. The desire I see in his eyes, the lust, the hunger is so satisfying. And there is a very strong and intimate bond between us when he hits or slaps me. <laughs> we want to be treated with respect. Respect me, brother. You should respect me. Why you're, you are so disrespectful? You should say, Blaze, how dare you, brother? Let's just read that again. And there is a very strong and intimate bond between us when he hits or slaps me. Our Quran teacher sister is telling you that she feels the most intimately connected and the strongest bond when she is getting slapped. <laughs> Pop like that, bruv. All right. Sheesh. Boy. <laughs> because there is a 100% trust between us. In order to let go and give up control, there must be a 100% trust. Of course, absolutely. That was very enlightening, sister. Jazakallah khairan to whoever the sister is. Just a minute. <laughs> Look what my man wrote. <laughs> you got me, bro. Bro, even the Quran teacher ain't safe out here. 100, rude boy. You don't know, bro. Trust me. So if you like that clip and you want to watch another one, click right here. And if you want to watch the entire podcast, click right here.